in uh, you know pretty terrible news for Apple. I heard the news that uh, in China, Apple's been losing ground. Uh, just the first two months, uh, they dropped like 22%, 22% uh, market share. Uh, and Huawei, wow, it's a major, major comeback. They they uh, got 66% market share. It's amazing. What so do you they think really it catch up. They, I think Apple used to be number one, right? As far oh, yeah. as, uh, as late as what, even last year, early last year. So it dropped a lot, right? If they, oh, yeah. But, uh, well, it was it was only when Huawei uh, was being sanctioned, right? Huawei was was number one, okay. And when the U.S. sanctioned Huawei, of course, um, immediately dropped, you know, dr dramatically. And Apple uh, been uh, number one since then. Uh, was only been what last two or three years, and ever since the May 60 Pro came out last year, wow, man, what a major comeback! Uh, it's uh, Huawei just uh, you know. Got back number one position within what within six months, you know. But the others are catching up too, right? I heard there's uh, Xiaomi, Xiaomi, and also what uh, Oppo, right, and a few others in Chinese uh, domestic. Well, unfortunately, uh, Alex, I think that uh, uh, with the exception of Huawei, uh, Xiaomi, Oppo, and Vivo, uh, they are they are also experienced some uh, decline. Okay, and uh, not just Apple, uh, Oppo, Vivo. And show me they uh, experience some decline. Uh, it's, right. it's, it's not big number, but uh, still yeah. a respectable number. Uh, however, I, I think that uh, this is a lot of people, you know, been saying that oh, you know, this is just a, uh, you know, national uh, triumph, and uh, you know, the Chinese people really uh, uh, support the Huawei. I don't believe so, you know. And uh, the consumer, they are smart. They are very clever. Um, and if they if they put the iPhone 15 uh, next to uh, May 60 Pro, uh, you know they they are they are sensible people, uh, even even including myself. I don't care you know whether Apple or May 60 Pro if uh, the functionality or price performance uh, you know uh, does not meet my uh, requirement, I'm not going to buy. So obviously uh, uh, Huawei did put a lot of thoughts. A lot of uh, hard work into producing something that is truly, um, you know, really uh, beat the competition, right? Not only Apple. I mean, uh, even uh, Huawei beat uh, Honor um, and uh, uh, Xiaomi and Oppo and Vivo. But of course, Oppo and Vivo, they are aiming at the low end market. But again, uh, Apple, you know, it, Apple is on the run. That's for sure. But, uh, you know, the, 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 the really big issue uh, as I said previously in my in my last episode, um, I I think that uh, you know Apple uh, like like Ford or Boeing that they are just too big, just too fat. They cannot even make a make a you know uh, make a turn. When they make a turn, they have to spend extra and extra energy and effort to really make a make a turn. And you know that's exactly what happened. They they spent ten years, you know, two thousand engineer, uh, you know, one billion dollar, and they and they dropped the EV project, right? So um, I I is I think that what that, you call uh, agile? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I I think that uh, uh, you know the um, I, this this is a really a business case. Um, you know I I think that uh, you know the the top business school they they should visit uh, Huawei and, and really understand their business model uh, how how they can actually you know crank out uh, really cutting edge technology with uh, you know really uh, incredible product so fast and uh, you know so quickly and be able to meet the market demand you see that's the thing I mean this is um, just like any company or or any product or any investment the timing. The timing is 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 the is the uh, determining factor here, um, and you know even now um, with Apple iPhone 15, uh, you know the uh, sales is just doesn't meet the uh, expectation. Guess what's going to happen with iPhone 16? Right, I think that Apple right now he they they are going to have a really really difficult time uh, to really make a uh, decision whether they're going to they're going to push. 16 this year at all, right? If they don't have anything significant or groundbreaking, 
you know, it's just as good as uh, iPhone 15. It's just another one bite bites the dust. It's not going to make any any difference. It's not going to even make a dent to the sales, you know. So um, uh, I, I I think that uh, Huawei uh, has a lot of uh, magic under the sleeves, and uh, it is really difficult to see. Uh, you know how you know what what else that uh, Huawei can uh, come up with is just just to uh, keep on coming up with uh, something really uh, you know really surprising. So it's uh, it's really caught uh, Apple in total su surprise. Um, I don't know I don't know what 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 uh, Apple uh, you know has in mind uh, right now because uh, they've been dropping uh, <laughs> quite a bit of uh, you know projects you know in addition to uh, um, to the uh, Titan the EV project. And the recent uh, Vision Pro, right? They oh, they haven't really dropped have it yet, trouble. right? I mean, it, it's not it's not selling well, but I, I don't think they have dropped it yet, right? You know, you see, no. You see, here's here's the thing. Now, they spend so much time, money, and energy to uh, create something new. Why don't they create something totally? Uh, well, you know, just like um, the foldable phone. Why don't uh, Why don't they? Produce or create something along that line, you know. And uh, Huawei has been succeeding, right? With the X5 and the Pocket 2, why don't they come with something like like that? I'm sure that they have, uh, you know, they have all the uh, brightest, uh, you know, brightest people um, in Apple that they they be able to pull something off. The reason why they don't do that. To me, to my, you know, in my opinion, is that hey, they are enjoying the success. They think that uh, they have this, uh, you know, uh, really uh, cutting edge technology, and as well as this, uh, you know, really impeccable design. Why, why change it? That's the mm -hmm. difference, right? That's the difference. When there's when something's working, why change it? But unfortunately, when there are com when there's competition. You know, and people uh, tend to change their uh, their taste. Unfortunately, uh, it is it, it is very true right now. You know, the reason why BYD is selling well is because hey, when you put put the Tesla and BYD you know, next to each other, it's so obvious that uh, hey, the price performance BYD is much better. Yeah, Tesla can say that oh, you know, we love uh, uh, minimalistic. Okay, no dashboard, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> have you seen the new uh, Tesla Model S? They have this, uh, you know, um, Formula One racing wheel, and you know what? They 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 eliminated the uh, the the, the signal stock, right? There's oh. no more stick, nothing. They use a little um, little button on 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 the wheel, nothing. Now, yeah, I mean that's uh, really uh, another school of thought, but. Uh, on the other end, BYD and Xiaomi, they they uh, still uh, you know come with all this flashy uh, dashboard and uh, you know uh, really wide uh, um, uh, uh, whatever that the uh, you know the, the 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 monitor that they be able to see you know a lot of things not 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 just you know the little uh, iPad in the middle but it's uh, the entire dashboard across the entire dashboard you know with the monitor. So you know, it's, that's obviously uh, people like uh, in lots of gadgets inside the car instead of minimalistic, right? So um, especially Chinese, they, they you know they want to get their money's worth. So uh, it is very very easy to uh, to say that hey, you know I I I I get more than the Tesla because you see, I have this uh, button here, I have this button there, <laughs> this big monitor <laughs> across the entire dashboard. So they get more for the money. That's the impression uh, most Chinese get, you know, and 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 that's why uh, Tesla is not selling well. Uh, similarly with Apple, I, iPhone, you know, hey, you know, this is cool design. Why change it? Hey, you know, that's the problem. Uh, you know, people uh, taste will, will will change over time, right? You know, you sometimes when I look at my iPhone, I don't even look at my iPhone as much. It's boring. It's nothing new, you know. <laughs> It's boring. So um, yeah, so the product is design. Yeah, initially it's just really cool, right? But over time, you just don't don't get that kind of kick. You know, just just don't get get that kind of uh, 
uh, excitement anymore. I don't know. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, that's what's, what's going to happen in the, in the near future. Do you have anything to add? Well, I think right now Apple is in uh, pretty deep water. I mean, I just read that uh, EU just fined them two billion. Wow. For being uh, anti-competitive, uh, they shut out the other streaming service to the app, uh, app store. So wow. I, I'm sure they will fight it. But then you know, this two billion fine is a big penalty. And um, you know, they yeah, they that reflects that they have a long time dominance in the market. But uh, right. that also talks about I think uh, right now it's great gradually being chipped away in 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 many ways. Yeah. Be, whether it's uh, uh, this uh, government uh, regulatory and also the market dominance is also being chipped away. So they, I think they need to really give, um, give it some good uh, soul searching about what needs to be done or how to uh, set the next course uh, for Apple so that it can resume its growth path and resume its um, uh, market leading position, yeah. I, yeah, I, I think, uh, Alex, I think this is a common problem with a lot of U.S. Uh, Fortune 500 companies. It's not just Apple. I mean, even Tesla, Boeing, Ford, GM, uh, even those that, that were, um, you know, <laughs> out of the market like Xerox, Kodak, right? I mean, when you, when you look at even Sun Micro, I used to uh, use the Sun Micro uh, web stations. Mm-hmm. When you look at those, uh, even digital, remember? Right, uh, Ken Olsen. Oh, I love digital uh, uh, com- computer. But anyway, yeah, I my my point is, when you look at all these big companies, good companies that uh, you know gone away over time, you see the pattern, right? When they reached a certain point, you know, then they started to see the ceiling, that they that the innovation just stopped, you know, and and. Uh, and then you you see a downward trend, or if you don't see a downward trend, you see competitors, you know, just uh, uh, um, you know, just uh, 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 take their market shares, you know, uh, one bite at a time, and uh, eventually they just go away, right? Mm-hmm. Even IBM, I heard that IBM is uh, laying off people, right? IBM is laying off people. Right, so I, you know, I think even even now um, with with App Apple, I think that uh, you know if iPhone 15 is not selling well, I I know uh, that the uh, uh, Project Titan they have to they have to lay off some people, uh, thousands of people, right? I'm not surprised even within 2024, Apple's going to have a massive layoff. Sure. It sounds like that um, it's difficult to uh, stay. To be a leader and stay at the top of the of the pack, right? So you, what, so what you're suggesting is that uh, you constantly have to uh, reinvent or innovate to be able to well, to to keep ahead, right? Well, I I've been doing business for the past uh, 20 or 30 years. Uh, you know, every product, every company has had had you know have a life cycle, right? Mm-hmm. And the and that's why you you often see a big company they break them off uh, into smaller ones, right? And uh, you know to to give that uh, small smaller company an agile and and more nimble uh, management uh, a team be able to uh, react quicker, mm-hmm. and uh, you know just to uh, give it and give it uh, an independent life instead of you know you have you are you are within a, you know this giant company like IBM mm-hmm. or you know even Apple right now, and uh, God knows every time they have a major decision they have to go through <laughs> I don't know how many guys. Uh, approval, you know, and and that takes time, and that's that's another reason, you know, why Apple or those big companies they react so so slow when, you know, Chinese company they react so quick and and be responsive to the to, to the to the market because the market constantly you know changing. Mm-hmm. If you don't react quickly enough, you're gonna lose your market share. You're gonna lose your customer, and that's exactly what happened to uh, Apple right now. Apple thought that hey, I've been winning. I I am number one, and and you know, and we are we have this crown jewel, iPhone. This is an iconic product. Yes, it it was. It's not anymore. And and when the Chinese company like Huawei, Xiaomi, 
they're not they're not they're not stupid. You know, they they constantly you know monitor uh, what what the market wants, right? Mm -hmm. And and uh, they can come with something new quickly. That's the point. Mm -hmm. if, if that doesn't work, well, they go change it and they come up with a second version, third version quickly, quicker than you. Right? Yeah, Apple is quick enough. Instead of two years, they, they turn out the product uh, within a year. However, however, the changes is not significant enough to really motivate people to replace the phone or to change the mm -hmm. phone. So I don't know, you know, there are a lot of uh, Harvard grads uh, in Apple, I'm sure, right? Ivy League uh, grads, MBAs, I'm sure they're smart enough to figure out there is something wrong, for sure. Mm -hmm. And and uh, you know, I can easily say that uh, the app, Apple is just too big. It's too fat, too big, and and it takes too much time to turn around. Is there anything that they can do? Of course. I mean, uh, they have to change their their management model. They have to change their business model. Unfortunately, that they are you know they they are they are just designing company. They are not manufacturing company. They outsource the manufacturing uh, manufacturing uh, job to uh, Foxconn. Unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, and 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 that takes time. When they communicate with the third party provider, you know, it takes time. You know, that's that's the way it is. So um, mm -hmm. there are things that they could do, but uh, you know they have to react quicker. Uh, in the past, yeah, it's it's working good because you know uh, uh, there's no no one can can change iPhone in the past, mm -hmm. not anymore, not anymore. So if they stick to their own model, the uh, business model by outsourcing everything to a third party, they gonna lose the time. They go right. to the to the uh, to the competition because China they can react much quicker because they have the, the entire supply chain next door within a phone call within a taxi ride. But you in Apple is in Cupertino in California. Anyway, right. um, I think we're going to stop here. Uh, anyone with any uh, comment or any uh, opinion, whether right or wrong, share with us. And uh, until then, have a nice week. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.